Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, me and T. BPG till I DIE. And I'm back here with another video. You did, did, did. Now, free from the title, we finna do this QA. Now, I put a poll on my Instagram and my Snapchat. You're not following either one of my social medias. I need you to get over there and do that like yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're new to the channel, I need you to hit that subscribe button down there. Hit that thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get to it, gang. The meesters, meesters, meesters. What's good, my new? You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up, beautiful ladies? What's up, ugly ass nigga? All right, <laughs> I'm just y'all, man. Um, now, like I said, I put a poll on my Instagram. Let's start with Instagram. Now, we gonna go to, you know, what I'm saying we got some DMs, and we uh shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying that participated in it. That participated, participated. Participation, dissipation in the situation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all my meesters out there. Y'all some real motherfucking milk. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, let's get started. Let's get it started. Yeah, let's get Okay, let's see. Now, first question popped off. How did you get started? This question is asked by King underscore K. Shout out to a gang, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be linking up with you when we come out there to Cali, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna never forget about you. We gang gang to the world, bang, you feel me? But anywho, she asked, how did you get started? Uh, I'm assuming she's talking about YouTube. Um, first of all, I, before I came off the college, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get in there as well. Before I came off the school, um, it was like summertime and we just graduated high school. And me and my partner, you know, Reload, we uh was doing skits, like funny shit. Like we'll record a YouTube video, we'll record just some skits, you know what I'm saying? We used to, we had the channel booming, you know what I'm saying? So I got started basically just by shit, chilling with my homies at the you no know, spot. We just picked up the camera and just got to it. Let's see next question, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cousin Kimio, you know what I'm saying? That's real gang gang to the world, bang as well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one 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 underscore only underscore Kimio. Go subscribe to the cuz. Go, man, I'm so used to saying subscribe. Go follow the cuz. You know what I'm saying? But she asked, uh, where do you see yourself in five years, and what are your ten year goals? Dang, cuz you ask like an application type question. The question I get asked their interest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most other people been asking and how long I've been growing my hair. You know what I'm saying? What the ethnicity are you? You know what I'm saying? She asked the whole book. Anyway, where do I see myself in five years? Let's answer that. Um, now, I want to say, you know, I can say anything, but I'm going to be realistic with this. I'm saying I feel in five years we will be well over five million subs, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, like I said, we is the realest family on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, I feel like uh, I'm going to be well off in my career, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? My 10 year goals, you know what I'm saying? It just keep them hoes, you know, hoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now the next one, shout out to my my sis, man. This sis, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, happy, happy C day sisters. Both of my sister Donna, my sister Alexis. Y'all go follow them right now, you know what I'm saying? But she asks, what was your biggest lesson so far in life? Wow, y'all are asking some tough questions there, you know what I'm saying? But uh, my biggest lesson so far in life, to be honest, was um, you can't trust these hoes, oh, oh. no, nah, this is funny. But that was a lesson too, you can't trust these hoes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, keep stacking money, you know what I'm saying? And stay in school, don't do drugs, and listen to your parents. Uh, what made you start your comedy career? Like I said, when my nigga Reload, we was uh, doing videos, right? So we come out to college, do it for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And it got to a point to where we stopped doing them, you know what I'm saying? He shut the channel down. So, and he was, and he was doing his rap thing. So basically what I did was, you know what I'm saying? I, I started, I ain't start no channel or nothing like that. I just start doing shows like stand up, you know what I'm saying? Going to do open mics and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And like that evolved into getting partnerships, you know what I'm saying? I was on a partnership for like two years, you know what I'm saying? That came with great opportunities, like when I did something for Spike. I didn't see it, I ain't saw it to this day, but I don't really care because I got paid, you know what I'm saying? That's how it should be. I don't care if it aired or not, but I got paid. But anyway, it just like evolved into stuff like that, meet new people, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, but it just evolved over time, like, for me to start it, like, you know what I'm saying? And I just kept running with it, you know what I'm saying? That's all I knew. Uh, what made you pick University of Monticello for your college? And what motivated you to keep pushing and finish? Uh, to basically sum that one up, man, I picked, at first I was gonna go to A State, Jonesboro, you know what I'm saying? They had a great off on the table for me. Beautiful school. Went to saw and everything. You know, campus nice, you know what I'm saying? Look good, you know what I'm saying? But the only downfall was, you know what I'm saying, was like the distance, you know what I'm saying? From the crib, from home, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I, was, I ain't really want to be that far from home that early, early at the age, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really understand I could always come back or any of this stuff like that. Plus, it was like a lit party school. I probably wouldn't say fuck school and been partying all my life. I'm party broke. What motivated me to keep finishing? Um, well, to be honest, it was like one year I fell out. I, I wasn't going to school because like my health got real bad on me. My grades fell down, you know what I'm saying? I had to get on academic probation, bring my grades back up, all this to get back in. This the, the third, you know what I'm saying? And so, that whole time I was sitting out waiting, you know what I'm saying? I literally wasn't doing shit with myself. I was like, dang, if I don't get back into school, like, what I'm gonna do? Like, I mean, comedy cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing, but, like, what if that don't work out? You know, I'm always a plan B type of guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I don't pull out, I got plan B, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, I feel like I need that accomplishment. I need that accolade. You know how you playing the game and you unlocking achievements? That's what I feel like about it. Let's go to Snapchat. Snapchat. Okay. You see? Snapchat, you see? Um, how does it feel not giving up on yourself? It's kind of like the question I just asked. But uh, I will say it feels good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not all the way out this hole yet. I'm, I'm in, but like, as close as I get, closer and closer I get. It be like, dang, I really came this far. I'm really coming this far. I'm really climbing. I'm really doing this. I'm really out here, nuts to the flow. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really that guy. Like, like, come on now. Like, like I can't help but pat myself on the back sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes it be overwhelming. It be pressure. It be, it be a lot of like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause I'm in the position I'm in. Can't nobody do it for me. You know what I'm saying? When is your next comedy show? Um. It may be recent, it may be coming up recent. Like, I may do some in Little Rock. Um, the only problem with it still being lately, I've been doing these skits and this uh school thing, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot going on with school. It's my last semester, I'm ready to get up at that thing. And I got you know, people I've been talking to in LA, so it's been a lot of meetings I've been you know associated in that I've been trying to, you know what I'm saying? Take it slow, yeah. My next one though might be in Little Rock, you know, just stay tuned for that, you know what I'm saying? It's like a mixtape, you just never know my shit gonna drop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how's life treating you is a question. Uh, pretty well. Can't complain at all. You know what I'm saying? I wake up every day. Be able to get up and go grind. Uh, I don't wake up hurting. You know, I'm not in a crisis every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm up able. And, and that's what really matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, life treat me. I'm feeling like me. Life's good, B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How do you feel about where you stand now with your comedy? You know what I'm saying? That's like with anything, probably with anybody, like as far as even to go and say an athlete, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can't never get better enough, you know what I'm saying? If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? I can always learn, I can always grow, you know what I'm saying? Due to the fact I'm getting a degree, you don't get it twisted. I'm always learning every day, even when I'm not in school, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm learning, I'm always trying to grow, always trying to expand, always trying to read, you know what I'm saying, boots beside what I'm being told at school, try to expand my, you know, horizons, you know what I'm saying, so I'm never satisfied in the position I'm in, like, as far as to go to say, people, you know, commend me, like, if I was to quit right now, people wouldn't, you know, bash me, people wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, people know how hard it can be, you know, I understand First hand how hard this could be living could be you know what I'm saying getting through things could be so I'm never satisfied you know even when I get 
you know, number one comic out of Arkansas, you know, best YouTuber, you know, to do his thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, only one to, you know, graduate from the university four years, you know, after generate. That's going to be great. I'm never satisfied, though. I'm going to keep, I need all that. I need all my accolades. I need all them achievements, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one more. Somebody asked, uh, yeah, what race are you? Uh, I am, as far as I know, black. But I gotta do Ancestry.com to figure that out. Y'all, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, you know, help me be able to afford this Ancestry pack so I can be able to get back with y'all with that information. Um, and as always, stay tuned, like, subscribe. I have a lot more plans for y'all coming. And, uh, man, stay tuned, gang.